Mom, Dad, who's this guy? I have no idea. Do you see, sir? So you can see him too, Bunny? Oh, I thought I was the only one. I'm mm. your grandfather, Grandpat. Must we do this every morning? Food? Get by. You kids have it easy these days. Back in my day, we were food. Ooh, what flavor? Hush, noodle brain. Oh, and here's our future casualty now. What are you doing there, old timer? I'm making out my will. Nobody gets nothing. Ah, uh -huh, the elderly. Back to the studio. Big fan you had there, Grandpa. Uh, don't blame me just because you can't pillage responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> I think the freaky, funky smell is coming Ooh. from Grandpa's room. It is possible. Old folks collect lots of interesting smells over the years. You're probably smelling my drumstick hearing aid. I don't think so. Maybe my olive loaf shin guards? Nah. My pasta salad insoles? No. Bowie, the funky smell isn't here either. My trouser toast is ready. The time is getting closer when Patrick's grandfather will sacrifice himself in order to help poor unfortunate snails to dance. Well, what's this about snails? <laughs> oh, what a relic. Back to you. Now remember, if you find Patrick, give a shout and tug on the rope. Oh, oh no. I ain't going searching for a boob who can't find his way out of a chair. I have napping to do. Let's get this quality time over with. Please, kind sir, would you help me open my trunk? I've got feeble fingers. Why, certainly. Helping customers is our policy. <laughs> oh, I was just getting comfortable. I was just getting digested. Oh, I hope it's not another chewed up candle. A dinosaur egg? I haven't had a pterodactyl omelet since I was a cave boy. Thank you, grandson. <laughs> are you asking? What do you got cement in your ears, lady? My stuff is not for sale! Oh, the Flim Flam Brothers! You borrowed ten bucks from me in 1926 and skipped town. With interest and adjusted for inflation, I'd say that brings it up to... $462,000! Sorry, we've been dead! Dead broke! <laughs> you owe me restitution! Restitution! Oh, hi, Grandpa. Just going upstairs. Greetings, grandson. Just going downstairs. There we go. I'm just going to go. Please step aside. Please step aside. What? No. No, no, no you, you step, step aside. aside. Age before ugly. Pearls before swine. I before thee. I'm sorry, Grandpa, but Dad always told me. Son, the best advice I could ever give you is never back down from a stare off. I told you that. That's my advice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't care who said it first. I gotta get my golf club. And I hate the upstairs bathroom. Grandpa, I'm doing a segment for Patrick's show. Do you have any enemies? Enemies? Hmm. 
enemies. At my age, your only enemy is time. That's why I get symbolic satisfaction from smashing clocks. Now grab a hammer and laugh in Father Time's face with me. golf swing yeah, 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 yeah. then watch and learn <laughs> remember keep swinging until your ball goes in a hole <laughs> <laughs> That should have hurt. Good job, well done. <laughs> Throw down your cream puffs, you clock nuttings. You're all my prisoners now. <laughs> After thousands of years, I have my revenge. <laughs> He's gonna take our picture, Grandpa. Picture? <gasps> I don't want my picture token. Cameras steal your soul. <laughs> what am I doing in this box? I told you I wanted a sky burial. Observe as I cut this complete stranger into two pieces. <laughs> And now I will magically put him back together using my magic world! Please! Oh, and I just had my hips rotated. We stars don't give up that easy. Did I give up when dinosaurs stole my lunch money? I don't know. Did I give up when the barbarian horde swept across the ocean and stole my lunch money? I don't know. Did I give up when Martians invaded and beat me onto their spaceship and stole my lunch money? I don't know. Uh, of course I didn't. How do you think I bought this hot Sammy? <laughs> Now, let's go get your stuff back. Time for some pillaging! No! Follow me. The secret crawl space runs all over the house. It lets me stay off camera while still getting me where I need to go. Ooh. Who's a hungry boy? Dig in so you can grow up big and bristly. <laughs> the puppets are this way.
Get your grandpats here. More like cream tough. It was way back in the Petrolithic period of early cave stars. Ooh. Automobiles hadn't been invented yet. So there was no way to get to a supermarket. We had to do all our shopping in the wild. Where the dinosaurs were shopping for us. Wow! It was just a matter of luck as to who would eat who. I guess things can't get any worse. And us cave stars provided nutrition to the dinosaurs. And that's why dinosaurs are still with us today. Who reminds me? I'm hungry. What's the matter, son? The darn ice cream man won't give me any ice cream. Sounds like the non-dairy days of ice cream prohibition. Dark times they were. The lactose intolerance movement had just banned the sale of ice cream. With every ice cream parlor closed, I started going to sweet easies. <laughs> and if they caught you with so much as a sample size scoop, they threw you in the slammer and only fed you prunes. That's where I learned to like prunes. Oh. <laughs> yep, in those days, you had to know someone who could get you the cold stuff on this slide. Hey, I know someone's! My sister! <laughs> Wait, I mean, I have some ice cream right here. There, yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, prune flavored. <laughs> Watch for the vintage nose hair pullers. Those ain't oh. nose hair pullers. They're teeth yank and pliers from my medieval dentistry days. Mm. <laughs> it was the Dark Ages, and I was the only toothsmith in the kingdom. <laughs> You'll never have a toothache again. Thanks. The year was 3000 AD, and I went to the ball of the future to stand in the line of the future to buy products of the future. Top of the chrome dome to you. Lovely day. <laughs> What's that now? Oh boy, lunchtime. Mm. Uh. <laughs> 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 